Hey tribe, welcome to the HGDC channel. I'm Heather, your host. I'm 28 and I live in Leicester in the United Kingdom. And this is Darcy. Say hello, do. <coughs> my co-host for the day. We are in my bedroom and that's why the setup looks different to what it usually does. Um, so let me know what you think to this. I think the lighting's okay. And it's quiet in here, so there we go. Um, so just to let you know where I've been for the last few weeks, um, everything's been fine, I've just been out and about, real life, um, things going on, and crocheting away in the background and knitting. Um, I've got projects to show you that I'm working on, one main big project actually, come here do. And um, what else? I want to say thank you for all, you, all of you for subscribing. Darcy, but thank you for subscribing. I'm almost at 300, which is amazing. And thank you to everyone that um, has commented. I love, love, love getting your comments. So if you're watching this, comment below. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, let me know your favourite things that I show you or what you want to see more of. Just get involved, talk to me and thank you so much for spending this time with me. Um, it feels a bit weird not being at the desk. I feel it's a bit weird. But anyway, crochet, knitting, let me show you what I've been up to. I've just washed my hair which is why it's shrinking. I am working on a prototype jumper of my own pattern. So I'm using granny squares. This panel I haven't sewn the ends in on, um, <laughs> had you noticed? It's going to be either the front or the back. Let's see what I can show you. So my plan is. I can't remember what my plan is. It was like this. And then it's going to have to have some shaping around the side to fit. There's also a second panel, which I have sewn the ends in on, other than the joining thread yarn. Um, and I've gone around that with two rows of granny stripe as well. So the plan is for that to sit there. It comes to my, well, it comes to my hips. Um, and then the back one, I haven't done the two rounds to go on it yet, but that will go behind like so. And then I've made a sleeve. I'm so proud of this sleeve. So it's got, I'll prop it on for you. I made a sleeve. Um, what should I tell you about it? It's currently pinned together with a safety pin, so I could just try it on. The plan is, is to do the second one, this is where I need another hand, do the second sleeve, sew these together, so front and back panel and the sleeves, and then do my neck, and it's going to have a neck and cover my traps, and then side panel. So what do you think? These granny squares were rescued from the blanket that I took apart. Um, the big, if you can hear noise, ignore it. Sorry. Um, the big, what did I call it? My stained glass window blanket that I took apart. I'm reusing the squares and these are some of the squares from there. I tried to pick ones that had more pinks in but there are a few that just had pops of colour that I liked and the joining colour is this jewel colour and it's just DK and I've got five balls of it for five pound from a local shop Um, I'll try and find the yarn band board to show you but I don't have my crochet journal in here at the moment Um, so I there are three round granny squares using DK scraps, which I've then done the join as you go method. And then this one's got the two rows of granny stripe around it as well. And that was basically made to go from pretty much shoulder to shoulder on me. 
um, and then once I've added the sleeves in I will then make it fit around my waist a bit although it does come to about halfway this job this top doesn't show very well um so yes I'm making it up as I go along if I hadn't said or you hadn't guessed then the sleeve I'm really proud of this sleeve um a few of you in my real life that, that know me and watch this have seen me restart this three or four times at least with two separate people um, because it just wasn't right and it ha it has to be right um, otherwise what's the point in persevering with it so for the cuff I cast on a four to two stitches on which size are these on four mils and I'm doing another one here though I made a mistake can you see so that needs ripping back um, but I cast on four to two stitches like so and then what I do is I cast off leave the last stitch put your crochet hook in and then DC all the way across if you're in the US single crochet um, and then at that point, so I picked up DC'd across, and then I did three rounds of treble at Granny Stripe. Oh, now I'm doing my sleeve. And then I did trebles, and I've noted down the sequence roughly so that I can remake the second um and then I've left this long tail so that I can sew it up so what do you think I'm really proud of it um I've just undone that little bit so I need to finish that but then it's gonna It's so pretty! Um, I'm gonna do the second sleeve as I said which I've cast on I need to fix and then um, I think I'm gonna do the neck after that and then work on the body shaping then the rib um, as it's bank holiday and I've got quite a bit of time I think that I'll probably get that done quite soon um, and, but I'd like to um, I'm not going to promise the pattern on this because I don't like to, it just puts too much pressure on myself and I don't end up doing it and end up giving you the information so it's not really fair to say that but um, I could always maybe write up a little recipe of how you do it and what measurements I used on me to make this fit. That tan line. Um, so that is my main project if not my only project that I'm working on. Um, I don't know what's happened to me. What can I say? I'm, I'm a one project girl right now. I want to make a jumper out of that denim that I've shown to you and I want to make some crochet tops like um, festival type tops and also I've been speaking to one of my friends about making some makeup pad removers with 100% um, cotton so I need to go get some of that I might do that today on the way to my I don't know where it is either on the way to the craft meetup group that I'm going to I'm going to take this with me um, I would pay somebody to, to sew all this in for me and yes I know do it as you go along but I haven't well, I have. I did that square. And what do you think to the purple? Is that showing on? I really like it. Really good colour. Um, what other projects have I got in mind? I need to finish my lacy fan socks as well. 
I just need a heel that I'm happy with on that. And then what else have I got? That's pretty much it. Oh, that's a lie. Can you remember the swatch I did with the beads? I'm working on something with that as well. Um, the beads are hidden away so I can't show you, but I don't know, what do you vote? Cardigan, jumper, vest top? I'm kind of going with vest top because it would be quicker. So let me know. Today's just been a really quick hi, I'm still here, this is what I'm working on. Um, I've got loads of plans this weekend and there's someone walking around in the house which is why I feel like I'm rushing this and I don't want to I don't want to be a weirdo. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you now and check back in with you at the end of bank holiday. So today's Saturday, I'll come back to you on Monday, let you know how this is going on. Um, I want to go get some more wool now, go to my craft meetup, gym, I'd like to go to a garden centre and make our garden look nice. So have a wonderful weekend, thank you for popping in, make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment, I love your comments and I will see you soon with some progress. Thank you for watching guys, bye!